Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in Mexico and truck month continues. This week in FH5, we can unlock this, the seventh generation of Ford F-150. Before we go and do that, Forza-thon shop for the week. This is day 372 of waiting for the developers to actually add something good to the Forza-thon shop. Anyways, moving on. This is it. That wasn't it! Hey, yes! That only took us 20 minutes, but there is our Ford F-150 from 1986. Let's go. I know it might not look great for right now. I have massive expectations for the customization for this thing. We will come back to that in a second. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about... The incredibly slow Ford F-150. In real life, this was actually the final generation of Ford F-150 that you could get with a three-speed transmission. Yeah. You can actually pick one of these things up today for about like 10,000 bucks, which actually isn't that bad for like a decent quality one. There's obviously ones that are in like disrepair and you can pick these things up for like 500 bucks. Or there are some super, super nice ones that have actually been restored and are like 30, 40, 50,000 bucks, depending on how nice they are and what engine the things got inside of it. I actually really, really like these things. I've always been a fan of like older, smaller pickup trucks, Sa says the man who owns a Ford Raptor. Um, moving on. I always really like these things, though. I just find them really nice, really chuckable. And in terms of Forza Horizon, with some of that customization, I think this is going to be rather spicy. Not a race car, a work truck. I feel like this thing actually has some potential to be very, very good in A-class off-road. Let's start it off with some engine swaps. So, our stock Ford V8, nothing special, but not bad either. We can swap in a Ford Raptor engine? Are you kidding me? The V6 twin turbo. Then you can go for the diesel swap, okay. And then a 5.8 liter V8? Yes, it's the old GT5. And then a racing V8. That's always good. And the Funko engine swap. Let's go. What if we turn this into a 1980s Ford Raptor? Then in terms of the aero, ooh, we can get the big bash bar or remove the chrome grill. We got to remove that chrome grill. That looks so good. Then the ADD overlanding parts. That looks really good. That actually looks pretty good too. You know what though? I think I'm just going to keep it stock for now. In real life, people take these older pickup trucks, slap them on massive lifted up suspension and some huge tires. Please let me do that in the game. Immediately, we are going to go for some off-road race tires. That's going to give us incredible grip. Then we're going to go wide tires for even more grip. Then we've actually got some engine spacers in the rear that bring the tires out. There are none in the front though, which is really disappointing. But but we can actually get some bigger tires, which isn't bad. If the wheels stuck out maybe like one or two inches, I feel like that would look so good. And then let's upgrade the brakes. Yeah, 1980s brakes are also not the answer. We don't have any drift suspension, but we do have rally suspension, which looks really good. The only thing that we need is just some better poke, and this thing would have looked awesome. Then let's go for some weight reduction. 700 pounds of weight reduction. We weigh less than 3,000 pounds. We have 800 horsepower. This thing's gonna be so fast. No way. We've actually got some advanced painting groups too. So group number one is the main body of the car. And then group number two is, uh... Really? This is gonna be sick. Let's test our off-road build. Oh my God, look at my red line. Or my, I should say lack of red line. We're going up against all the modern off-roaders, Ford Broncos, Dodge Rams. There's another Bronco all the way up there. 
All right, ciao, boys. See you later. They took, they took each other out. In other news, this is incredible. Like, actually incredible to drive. I made a 1980s Ford Raptor, and the thing is sick. I actually probably should have painted it blue. I forgot it was a Raptor. As soon as I saw this car was coming to Forza Horizon 5, I knew that it was going to be a rocket ship, and I am not wrong about that. Look at the lead. I've been in the wrong gear for 95% of this race, and it's still just insane. Send it straight through there. This shouldn't be able to drive like this. I mean, first impressions are very good. This is probably the type of car you could actually take online and actually do some damage with. It just feels awesome. Right the way through and across the line. I don't know what to tell you other than called it. Our proper build has worked beautifully. And now it's time to do a build that is not proper at all. I'm sure this is a wheelie great idea. I hate myself too. If it's gonna do a wheelie, it's gonna do a reverse wheelie. 58% of the weight is in the front. Unlike for normal wheelie cars, we actually need a really powerful engine with a lot of torque weight. So why don't I run the diesel? This is gonna work. Oh my god. Then I need drag racing tires. We've got a thousand horsepower and two thousand foot pounds of torque. In three, two, one. I'm in first. <laughs> Nothing to see. <laughs> Edit that out, please. In three, two, one, go. Oh. That was like two inches, bro. I can, I can still do it. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to say two inches is small, but even your mum would be disappointed with that. The wheelie I'm talking about. The wheelie. It doesn't work. Well... It kind of works, but it doesn't work. Chat, I have a question. You like chaos, don't you? I have good news for you. How fast would a Ford F-150 from the 1980s be with nearly 2,000 horsepower and racing slicks and full aero? Nope, neither did I, but we're gonna figure that out. <laughs> this is definitely one of the ideas of all time. Welcome back to another day of Nick needs to make his own suspension because the developers decided, nah, nobody's gonna want to race that. Welcome back to speed running. How fast can we flip it? No, don't give me hope. Don't give me hope. Don't do this. Don't do this truck. Don't. No, 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 no. Okay, break, 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 in, go. This is sick. How is this working? I have absolutely no idea. Shit! All right, it's all good. 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 I believe. I believe. I believe in the F-150. It's really not bad. It's a pickup truck from the 80s. And I've taken it racing. Chat says Ford stands for flip or roll daily. <laughs> if it wasn't for the amount of understeer that this thing gets when it's trying to go through like some medium and high speed corners, it would actually be kind of cracked. Here we go. Gain on the Hilux. Got him. Hilux? That's not what that is. I know we came into this build kind of expecting it to be a meme. And don't get me wrong, it definitely is. But that's also just so surprising to drive. It's just, it shouldn't be that good. But the fact that it is awesome. We are going drifting. I would like to point out, this doesn't have any drift suspension. So once again, I'm gonna need to make my own. If we go racing V8, that's actually a super lightweight engine. It's already got some really good horsepower, got some really good torque, and I can supercharge it to make the Americans happy. And I will go rear wheel drive so I can do proper drifting. I like where this is going. Oh, flex, flex, flex on him. I'm gonna toss on a drift transmission. We're going full send with this, boys. I've already got a thousand horsepower. That's probably enough. Let's come over here. Reservoir drift zone. My personal best is nearly 400K. I think if I could get 300K with no drift suspension, that would be good. The problem is, is we just, we just can't get that much angle. So I just kind of got to make do with what we've got. But that's definitely the limit of angle right there on the edge of spinning. That is literally as much as you can go. Any more angle than that and you end up backwards. Oh, dear. <gasps> no! 
see the problem. I'm going to have to reduce the amount of angle because clearly it just, it won't drive. <laughs> if this thing actually had drift suspension, it would be such a fantastic vehicle. Okay, keep going, keep going. Don't spin. Don't spin. We're nearly there. There's 250,000 points. Yo, we might actually get 300K. 300K would be sick. Keep going. There's 270. Keep going. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. 290. 300,000, baby. 300,000 with no drift suspension. Incredible. What a beast. Even if you don't like this car, you've got to go and unlock it. Worst case, sell it on the auction house next month and make 20 million credits. Best case scenario, you drive the car, you fall in love with it. I wouldn't be surprised if we find out in a couple weeks that this thing is actually demolishing some A or B class off-road leaderboards. It's such a fantastic truck.